week. Did you see this thing on uh, Perez Hilton? Somebody was posting a story about uh, they ran into you at uh-huh. some place on La Cienega. Yeah, that that is near my house, and that that's just an old. That thing is, if you look at the picture, it's the same picture that from me in Columbus, Ohio. It's like they're just ma- they're making stuff up at this point. So this isn't true. No, it, it might have been true because I go to Norm's late night. Yeah, there's a story. Uh, so there's this restaurant, Norm's Restaurant, La Cienega, right? This guy says uh, he was there out early Sunday morning around 3 a.m. And uh, Andy Tell Dick was there. I him to go to Perez and look it up. Yeah. You know, I would like to turn the camera on that fat F word. <laughs> <laughs> now, who, on, now on who is this person? There are, there are always times when we wish there was not a camera. And by the way, that, like I said, that picture th- there... That's why I know that somebody's making something up because they're using the same picture where, of with me, you know, in Columbus when I whipped my schlong out. Right. And by the way, I wasn't whipping; I was just going to the bathroom. Now, is it true that you ran into the bathroom and grabbed this guy's uh, manitalia? I. That, that's the thing. This story has no merit. I. I don't. I, mean, I haven't. It been sounds to like something that you would time. do, and I don't know you personally, but like this, you know, the stories that you hear or whatever. I mean, it sounds like I something. Have, yeah, they have. Uh, there's a lot of stories of me. I mean, you can see it on uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Go to YouTube. I'm groping Ivanka Trump. Right. Well, who wouldn't? I got, <laughs> yeah, I know. And I got uh, yanked off. And by the way, in my movie, my my whole movie that you didn't watch, thank you, uh, opens <laughs> up opens up with me getting dragged off Jimmy Kimmel because I urinate on him and Frankie Muniz, Malcolm in the Middle. Well, that guy I clearly would. deserves oh, it. I wish you'd do that in real life. Yeah, and then, and then, and then there's a big headline on one of those dumb tabloid magazines called Malcolm in the Piddle. Now, I mean, <laughs> I, uh, is it your desire at some point to be clean and sober? Or do you, are you just like, because, I mean, I would respect you if you say, no, I, I enjoy doing this. There's so many people that feel the need to say they, they want to be clean and sober, but, you know. You drink? Uh, I mean, socially. Yeah. yeah, what does that mean? You never get, you've never gotten drunk? No, I have gotten drunk, but I'm saying I don't get, I don't get drunk there, every week. Ever, has there ever been a moment where you've gotten too drunk and you were so glad that there was not a camera on you? Uh, actually, it's kind of the opposite. I'm like, man, this would make really great content for our website. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but Andy, throwing up like the toilet or something like that. I mean, no, okay, but you got I mean, you're, but you're, cameras all the time. But you're making, I know, but I, I know, but you're making the the argument. Are you saying that you only drink socially, like every once in a while? Oh well, yeah, I mean, there's been times when I don't drink at all for a very long time, like twelve hours. No, like three effing years. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, now you're lying. No, I, I'm it, not. You, <laughs> God, you are really, you are incorrigible. <laughs> what, I read. That's the thing. Well, I, and you know what? You're reading crap. Oh, okay. You need to read something with some substance, mofo. Like what? <laughs> like where should I go for my Andy Dick uh, truth? You don't need to listen. Go create your own life. Why do you Why do you have to live vicariously through my penis? Oh, uh, well, dude, <laughs> I want nothing real, to do with that. Real. God knows where that's been. You need to, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nowhere near you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You need to read something besides blogs online. But it's know. everywhere, Andy. So what, what you're what saying, you Andy, do? is that you're not crazy. All the stuff that we oh, no, read I'm about not, you is... I'm nuts yeah. <laughs> okay. you. I'm nuts for this interview. You, right. I just wish that, you know, I, this is this now, and I've done 30 of these in the last two days. Yeah. It is now the absolute worst interview because <laughs> you are just, it's just, it, it, it's a, it's a, sad state of affairs that that the, this is what it's reduced to. I want to talk about my movie, but right. you insist on talking about me, the, you know, my personal problems, which is, well, because this that's between movie, me and my doctor. Yeah, but people right. are intrigued by that, and they're, they're not gonna a find, doctor. They're going to find you're you just, interesting, and then you're going to see your movie. Crap. Andy, I'm a fan of you, but... And if you if you mess with the bull, you're going to get the horns, your mother. <laughs> that's how you are. And, you know, you're just a, you're a fool. You're right. just like all the other fools, tuning into Perez, tuning into TMZ. You, you, you probably TiVo TMZ. I do. You can't wait to watch it. You need to get your own life. You just do. do Let you, me live mine. I love it. All right. I, and I've been, like I said, I've so been... So you're so saying to me, Andy, you're one of these guys, okay, you live in Hollywood and you want to put yourself out in the oh, public I, eye, but then you want to get pissed Hollywood. off when people live, ask I'm, you about it? I don't live in Hollywood. I live outside of I'm Hollywood. I'm La Cienega in Los Angeles, and you're involved in Hollywood. You're doing movies and you Don't know, even TV. live in L.A. anymore. I moved out. I... Did li- what you're saying is uh, there was a lifestyle <laughs> that I led that you know I there are things that I did that I definitely regret right so, you know and I'm trying I'm trying to 
better my life. So and you are along. Danny Roan. I'm 41 years old. Right. I don't know how you are, how old you are. 31 years old. Well, you know, I have 10 years on you. I'm still alive, you know, trying to do my thing, and it doesn't help to have morons just feeding off this like like crazy bug-eyed vultures. Well, no offense, you know, Andy. No offense. Oh, yeah, right. That's what you're... No, listen to me. No offense, but, like, your life is way more riveting than this stupid movie you're trying to promote. Oh, uh, well, no. You should watch the movie. You didn't get to watch it. You never saw like, it. Like, I'm intrigued because it seems know. like a real-life tale. Of, like I said, like it's, it seems like there's some kind of parallel between the movie and this Danny Roan guy and you. It's right of... Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Right? Yes, and you should watch it before you even get into an interview. I'm just, dude, I'm That's just... That's offensive. How about this? How about you send me the movie more than 12 hours before I'm supposed to talk to you? I didn't send it. That's not my job. I know. Then you need new people. Well, I don't... Clearly. I don't I'm not, have dude, any... Andy, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I enjoyed you, you on news to, radio. You don't but need to try. I, I'm, just, uh, I'm just asking uh, you... I'm just asking you... Go ahead. ...about the things that people are curious about. I mean... Well, I know, and that's that's what I'm talking about. And if you're going to... Affairs. And then it's, set the record straight if it's not true. Then yeah, say, I'm I, not going to talk about it. It's not true. Uh-huh. Look, look look online and do your own research. The picture is just not... It's like, what are they doing? Wow, that's just crazy. And I wouldn't even know about it if people didn't send it to my email. You know, I don't, I don't want to see that stuff. It's, I was already embarrassed when it happened. I think that was like a three months ago, six months ago thing in Columbus, Ohio. All right. You know, it's like, what are you, what are people, it, that's why I am purposely just taking, I'm bowing out. I, I made an, a really nice movie that I'm proud of. Right. I would like it if you went and, and bought it or watched it, but you don't even have to because we graciously gave you a copy that you didn't watch. Thank you. I will watch it. Well, Try sending it earlier. Great. And, you know, and if, and if you don't like it, that's, you know, if you want to crap all over that, too. I, th- this is me trying to have a job. I could sit here and crap all over you as a host of a radio. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to do that. You, you know, I bet under different circumstances. Why? Under di- they want to hang up on you. I don't want them to. Under different circumstances, we would, we would totally get along, and you wouldn't think, you wouldn't feel the need to do what you're doing. What, ask you questions I, that everybody wants to know? Questions that <laughs> wants to know. That's that's not true. Right. People don't watch you because you're a gong show. You're right. People watch you because they they take you seriously as an artist. Well, I like to think I'm an artist, and I like to think I'm an artist that has a that has had a, had a lot of trouble. Yeah, I've yeah. had a lot of trouble, and yeah, people like to see the trouble. But hopefully, I mean, you just said earlier you enjoyed me on I don't on even news know what, radio. On news radio. And I'm a well, fan about- also. I came and saw you when you came to San Francisco at Cobbs. Yeah, well... Now, I would watch the movie if I got it beforehand, but I didn't. So why are you ripping on us? Us? Now, you're, and there's a whole other guy talking. Yeah. Well, they want they want to hang up because we have to move on. All right. I know. you got you got to talk to a billion other stations about your boring-ass movie that nobody wants to watch. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. Yeah. All right, Andy. Thanks, man. Oh, so nice. Yeah, sorry, sorry about asking you about the stuff that everybody else is asking you about. I'm sure that's like, not par for the course at all. They're gone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what a dick. Wow. That was a good interview. No pun intended. Wow. <laughs> like, you you, you kind of got Andy served, but then you returned how, his service. How did I get Andy served? Like, what? Oh, goes, you know, he's Mr. Look at me. I'm Mr. Crazy Guy. I, so, I have no reason to believe that this whole story about uh, Norm's restaurant on La Cienega, which he says is right by his house. I guess what? La Cienega runs right through where? Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. I don't live in Los Angeles anymore. Oh. Really? You just said you lived off of La Cienega. Yeah. What is it? 